If you're ready to create N8 N workflows in seconds, then this is the video for you. In this quick tutorial, I'll be walking you through how to set up N8 N chat, as well as show you how to troubleshoot the extension if you run into any issues. N8 N chat works on official N8 N hosting or self hosting, so you don't need to worry about that. Now, when you first open the extension, you'll notice you need an API key to get started. In this case, we're using OpenAI, so you'll need to create an account with them and then create an API key. Once the key is created, simply return to the extension and paste it in. From there, you can select the AI model that you'd like to use with the extension. The fastest and cheapest models start at the top, while the most intelligent are at the bottom. However, the default selected model is the perfect balance between the two, so we'll use that. Now, before you can get started with an open AI model, you need to make sure you have valid billing set up, as their service uses a pay-as-you-go model. Once you have billing set up in your account, for the final step, depending on your region, OpenAI may require you to verify your account first before you can chat with the model. And simply go to your settings and click the Verify Organization button and complete the steps there if you need to. Then go to your workflow page, open the extension, and press the Activate button. This will add the N8N chat UI to your workflow, and you'll be ready to begin. You can ask it to create, edit, optimize, or debug your workflows, or you can just chat with it and ask it questions. It'll have the context of everything in your workflow automatically, but you can adjust its capability in the settings. Now, if you run into any issues, because this is a browser extension, it's really simple to figure out what's going wrong. Simply open your browser settings and find the option to open the developer tools. The console log can show you if there are any issues or errors, but if you'd really like to peek behind the curtain, find the network tab, and then try to chat with it again. Once you've sent your message, monitor the network tab for a responses event. This contains all of the data that is sent to and received from the API. Simply click on the responses object and check out the payload tab if you want to see the data that you sent or in this case, we'll go to the Response tab to see what message the API sent back to us. The last few line items in the response will show you whether the response completed successfully or if there was an error, along with the help message and data that might help you identify what happened. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.